fighting solar energy and not being stifled by being diaper grass and not being uh, inefficient by being nursing home grass. Okay? And that is why all continents except Antarctica, I guess, have herbivores because, believe it or not, this grass is way more efficient at collecting solar energy and converting it into biomass do I hear carbon sequestration? <laughs> then, then trees. In the echelon of efficiency in biomass, it's grass first, then shrubs and bushes, then trees. We have this idea that trees are way more because we look at them and say, wow, look at all that carbon. But that is an accumulation of 40 or 50 years. What you're looking at right there is the third accumulation of this season. You add all those three accumulations through the season and add that over 40 years and think of the carbon. Are you with me? So, we use the electric fence to define a one-day plate full of food and we move the herd every single day from paddock to paddock to paddock, giving them one day. So there's about 140 head here and they have about an acre. All right? This is roughly 150 cow day grass here, all right? Now, a cow day is what one cow will eat in a day. In Augusta County, the average cow days per acre, are you with me on a cow day? Yeah. A cow day is what one cow will eat in a day. In Augusta County, the average is 80 cow days per acre. In other words, the average acre of pasture in Augusta County will feed 80 cows for one day a year or one cow for 80 days a year. Are you with me? Yeah. Here. Without one bag of chemical fertilizer, not one seed, and I told you what it was like 50 years ago, today, every year, we average, you ready for this? More than 400 cow days per acre. Okay? More than 400 cow days per acre. Because you cannot, you cannot over, uh, whatever, um, um, innovate nature's principles, okay? And um, so we are way 